You sit on my shoulder, whisper in my ear, speak through me. Some nights you won't let me sleep, insisting for my pen to let you breathe. Psst, wake up, get a pen, right now, or I'll not return in the morning. With open eyes, heart strapped to my back, you sit on my shoulder, point my pen to pain, guide it with compassion. You live through my pen, I heal with your words. There are times I want to live my life without you. I don't want to share my pain or my memories with you or my pen. During those moments, you are the most persistent. Never ending whispers, take all your pain, spill it on the paper, you'll walk away less burdened. I paid dearly for ignoring you, my pen poised, Paper blank, silence, clear mind, awaiting your whisper. Ooh. Thank you. Nice. This one is called Moving On. I want to turn off my mind so I don't think of you and a life that could be. I want a different heart since you are wrapped in every beat and vein of this one. I want new lips to wipe away the taste of your kisses. I want new skin to remove your touch, tattooed across every inch. Take my ears so I don't hear those songs that remind me of you. Render me mute so I don't say your name or how much I miss you. Take my sight so I don't see, so I don't see you live your life with someone else. I want to move on, but my feet keep me planted. Thank you. This one is called Quiet. You ask me why I'm quiet. I smile like I have a secret. Say nothing. But it's because I want to give you something that skips a beat when you kiss me stops a second before you touch me. Please understand, I have to keep her safe for a while. Even though the bruises have healed, the scars barely visible, and she's alive, dancing, ready to be let out of her cage, she's not as strong as she seems. It took her so long to mend last time. I worry if I give her to you, you may hold her too tightly, treat her too carelessly, even walk away. It's why I don't know what to say. I'll never be the same this time. The bruises will be deeper. The scars more painful. My tears will rust her gilded cage shut. Forever, I'm afraid. I'm quiet because I don't know how to tell you that for now, kiss me deeply, touch me gently, put your arms around me. Let me rest my head on your shoulder and for a little while, let's be those sweet young people of years ago before all the bruises and scars that needed to heal and love was enough. Thank you. Wow. One more. This one is actually the very first poem I ever wrote. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, I wrote it in 1989 and of course I've been editing it ever since. Of course. <laughs> um, it's called my grandmother used to say that we lived in a welfare hotel in California and I was always embarrassed about bringing people home. So she always used to say, don't complain, it could be worse. And this was worse. <laughs> it's called camping. We're going camping, I told the children as I load what little we have in the car. I look around the one room with two beds that was home for the last month, nothing left. Time to move on. I play with my wedding rings, and like my husband, they're a dim memory. I have to be strong for this, but I don't know how. I go to the mirror looking for strength, and only the vacant expression of poverty stares at me like a worn harlequin mask. I can't delude my children much longer. Theirs are being painted. I bite my lip when the tears come, so hard they bleed and swell, a constant reminder that my strength is fading. 
How long can I keep up this charade? I'm all they have. My choices are few. I run down the stairs without shutting the door, jump in the car, manage a weak smile, and begin to teach the kids campfire songs. Thank you. Wow.